Hi there. And welcome. Today I want to show you how to translate 100% of your WordPress website automatically. We'll be using our tool, Linguise, which is a software as a service, or SaaS. This means that the translation tool will be directly connected to your website, and it will detect and translate any new content that is added. And the best part. This whole process can be done quickly using a high-quality neural machine translation tool. This type of tool is automatic, but it still delivers high-quality translations thanks to its use of translation models and optimization. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out our website. So, what are we going to cover today? First, we'll show you how to connect Linguise to your WordPress site using a plugin. Next, we'll set up the language switcher and take a look at the translations. And finally, I'll demonstrate how you can edit the translations right from your website's frontend. We'll also visit the Linguise dashboard, advanced settings, and the service prices, of course. Let's get started with our translation specialist. Hi there. I'm Tristan from Linguys. Let's get started. In the first sequence we'll create an account, or you can register a new one. Linguys offer a one-month free trial for every new domain registered with up to 600,000 translated words. On each account, you can add several domains, but each domain will require a separated membership. That's still pretty interesting because the automatic translation is basically 90% less expensive than a pure human translation. So, we'll use it to translate a demo website. Here I'll add my domain. The registration of the domain is required because at the end I will get a key I'll reuse in the WordPress to activate the website translation. Then I'll select my original and target translated languages. Let's add one more language for example. Currently, there are 84 languages available. Okay, it's done and now I have the instruction to install the plugin and copy the API key. This is what I'm going to do in the next sequence. My domain registration is done on Lingai's side. Now I'm going to copy my API key for later and go to WordPress. Now, I'm in my WordPress website admin. I need to install the WordPress plugin. You can easily find the Lingai's plugin from the official WordPress plugin repository or search from the extension admin and click on add new plugin. I can run a search for Lingai's keyword. Okay, found it, then just install it like any other plugin. On my website I've just installed it so let's go to the plugin admin. Here is the first setting I find is the API key. Yes, you remember. This is the one I just copied in the previous sequence. Let's paste it here. Then apply. Perfect, as you can see below, there is my language list. Lindys has detected my configuration and added the language I've selected when I registered my domain. Now that my website is connected to Lindys, it's already translated, and we'll check that soon enough, no worries. But before checking that on the public side we will review the language switcher with the flag options in the next sequence. Now let's add the language switcher to our website. Basically, a language switcher is composed of a country flag and a language name. Here, in the plugin setting you can see the language list display with three options. Side by side displays all the flags and language names one after another. There's a preview here in the right column. The side-by-side -side is not very nice for me, that's because I have many languages set up. Let's test another one. Then you have the drop-down. Okay, looks like a menu. Finally, there's a pop-up option. I think it's better in my case to display in numerous languages. One option I've missed is the add language switcher automatically here. It will add language switcher as a pop-up that does not rely on a WordPress menu or shortcode to be loaded. Pretty convenient to start, but not for us, we're expert now. Let's scroll down and check the advanced plugin options. There are many options, among them, we can see the possibility to use alternate flags per language, color, border, mouse hover options etc. 
I see this as mainly an option to adapt the front-end rendering to your website design. That's great, but now I need something to add this switcher to my main menu for example. Let's click on the third tab here to get more instructions. Oh cool, it is said that it's ready to be used as a menu. Let's jump to Appearance, Menus. Here I found the Language Switcher menu, checking and adding it to my WordPress main menu. Save. And it's done. We can jump to the next sequence and see what it looks like on the front end, the public side. Perfect, here we are. I have my Lingai's menu with the flag and language name on the right. And when I click on it, I can change the language. Let's try Japanese to see a different alphabet. Now let's try Spanish. And French. Okay, looks good. Now if I navigate on the website, still in French, I can see all my pages are instantly translated and 100% of the content is translation even plug-in content like WooCommerce products here. Another thing that I notice is the URLs, they're all translated. Also, Lindice generates language tags and alternate URLs. It means that, for example, this page will be indexed as French in search engines and will have a top rank for search engine requests. Pretty good for SEO and page ranking, right? If you speak French or another language, you can check the demo website to verify the translation quality, but that's around 90% of what a good quality human translation can do. Now that you've seen how easy it was to make this automatic translation, I'll show you how to edit those translations from the website frontend. I'm going back to my Lingai's dashboard. I can check some usage statistics. It's not as powerful as Google Analytics, but it gives an idea quickly what languages are the most used. As you can see, there are many tools here, but we'll get to that in the next sequence. For now, let's focus on the front-end translation. Here it's called Live Editor. Let's click on it and select a language. I'll still pick French here and loading it. OK, I have the website opened but with the translation tool loaded in the top right corner. If I open it, I see three buttons, the computer that is the navigation mode to navigate and translate another page. The addition mode, the pen, the one we'll use it now. And the code icon to edit meta information such as translated page title for search engine. Let's focus on the translation mode for now. I would like to edit a menu for example and change a word to have a proper contact menu. I just click here, edit and save. It's done, my menu is edited in French all over my website. This is pretty useful for the final user or translator to translate with the context. I mean you have the original text, the automatic translation and your input. And I can click anywhere and edit anything, even plug-in content, page builder, no matter what as long as it generates HTML. If I switch to the navigation mode here I can change the page, and then reopen the editor, and translate again. I will open a WooCommerce page here and edit it. Okay, I can still do it. Now that you've seen all the translation and front-end edition I would like to present you the translation dashboard. Let's jump to the next sequence. Here we are in this last sequence, it's when we'll navigate in the translation dashboard. After the statistics, you have a part called rules. We have dedicated videos for this part, but basically that's a very powerful tool where you can add translation rules that apply all over your website at certain conditions. Did you follow me? No? That's normal, I'll show you an example instead. Here I'm adding a new rule, let's call it podcast. I can exclude text from translation or replace one content by another with various options here. Imagine, I would like to replace mess podcasts in French by ma musique. Currently, that's not accurate but let's imagine. Okay I'm adding the text, 
Here it's a translation I want to replace, I'm adding the replacement text. Below I have other option, I'm gonna apply the rule only in French, just in case it exists in another language. And I think that's okay, let's try that. Saving it, and let's check on the live website in French now. And boom! Text is replaced everywhere, pretty cool, no? Now what do I see on the dashboard other that rules, I can also see my translations as a list here and play with filter and edit them. That's a possibility. I can also see the search requests that have been made on WordPress. That's because Lingize offers the possibility to translate WordPress and WooCommerce search requests. There is also the URL translation list, same as the translation listing but only for the URL. Finally, I have the settings, this is where my domain is set up. Note that I can add a language anytime I want, this is the advantage of using a SaaS. As a conclusion, I would like to show you the pricing model. This is based on the translation volume it goes from 200,000 word to unlimited and from $15 up to $45 per month. This is less expensive with a yearly subscription and you have one month free per domain as I mentioned earlier. The main advantage of using Lingai's translation tool is that the quality is pretty good considering it's 90% less expensive than a manual translation. Also, new content is always instantly translated and SEO friendly. So, that's also great for business and e-commerce. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're watching this video from YouTube don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new features and ask us any question using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful link we've talked about in the description. See you soon for another video, bye for now.